One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I kind of grew up with the space program on Apollo 11 land on the moon. I was 19 and I decided that I want to be an astronomer. I wanted to be an astronaut. An astronaut. An astronaut. An astronaut. An astronaut. An astronaut as a child, right? Because 1969, you know, I'm nine years old and people are walking on the moon. I wanted to walk on the moon. I feel like it's just been a part of me, like my whole life. It's just who I am and what I want. My entire life has been devoted to study space. I, I realized how much space was such an integral part of my identity as a child and how I really wanted to explore space further and yet from about the age of 15 years onwards I really hadn't done anything about it and I found that fascinating that a woman at my stage in life who'd always like embraced and said oh I'm, I'm so open-minded about trying things the one thing that I really wanted to explore I was cautious about pursuing but then the following year I got to go on the space studies program so suddenly all of the things that I felt were impossible and, and feeling in a minority and embarrassed about this person who wants to go to space, I was suddenly in a room with 150 people who all want to go to space. And it's actually in Antarctica that I learned about ISU. Uh, so previous alumni um, had actually put a sticker on one of the doors and I thought, ISU, what's that? That sounds really, really cool. The essential ISU experience still remains the same and I think that's really what people come for. They come for this broad level of education that we give them, you know, the broad brush picture of how the space industry works in, in all its components. Um, they come for um, meeting people like themselves and for meeting lecturers and experts from all around the world. Um, and they come for the experience. And uh, by the end of two months they leave and, um, you know, even the, the biggest guys are crying at the end. And I love it. The SSP in 93, you know, it literally changed my life and out, outlook on the space enterprise because, you know, before that I'd been kind of focused in my little engineering world, you know, we're going to control everything because I'm a control theorist and, you know, <laughs> you know that's what I'm going to do the rest of my life and then I, and I went and because it's so interdisciplinary, you know, it was just sort of an eye opener because I learned a lot about policy and law that I kind of knew about but didn't really appreciate. It's not only engineering, but it's marketing, it's human, it's uh, legal, it's politics, it's regulation. There are, there are a lot of aspects that you have to take into account. It's extremely multidisciplinary. Yeah? You need to talk with microbiologists, with nutritionists, you need with cook, with space engineers with mathematicians, with chemical engineers. All those two work together because all these domains are represented and are necessary. So that's already great because you learn every day from this, from this expert. Uh, I really like the part of choosing a department where you can try new things that are far away from your expertise to see if there's uh, things that you uh, might become passionate about as well. And the other really cool thing is the network because uh, yeah, I can't tell you how many times that I've needed to know something or needed a point of contact in some country and just, just get online and say, hey, do you know anybody? And, and I don't know anybody, but I know somebody who knows somebody. And then all of a sudden you're all connected. It's a very special um, experience, the Space Studies program, this notion of being together over, over a nine week period. You create bonds that never break. I'm finding it just mind-blowing, uh, just absolutely incredible and beyond anything I could have expected or hoped for. Um, every day I'm just learning so much. I literally feel like I found my family. Um, it, yeah, it's very heartwarming uh, to be surrounded by people who love space as much. Um, yeah, I feel like it's yeah, people that I have looked for all my life and I'm now surrounded by like dozens of them and it's, it's really, really nice. It's an experience that kind of sets you up for life and if you want to have a future in the space sector, you couldn't, you couldn't come to a better place. And it's not only about the people you have spent the summer with, it's, it's literally that family feeling comes from whenever you see the, the ISU pin 
um, on, on, on anyone. You immediately you know, have the same feeling of trust and, and, and being part of the same family, which is, I think, the most amazing thing about the, the ISU community. The participants who come to learn at the International Space University, they bring the right values already with them to help humanity uh, have a sustainable evolution on Earth with space and maybe in space. It's about finding opportunities for doing things better and again to be a truly humankind, to be kind to each other, to be kind to the world around us and to the universe as well. I became more and more aware of uh, the, the problems around us in our society and how many um, how much the world has improved in times and, and that we are living in an in almost perfect world if it weren't for uh, climate change, poverty or um, yeah, lack of education in, in, in many uh, countries. And I think through space and through education we can do so much and space is a great way to have an impact. We will be creating solutions for very extreme situations in, in, in Mars, on the Moon and beyond of how to be ethical with an environment, of how to manage ourselves, manage a society, manage resources that we haven't seen yet on Earth. I so hope it inspires the world and I think that's one of the big things why space has to carry on even if it's so expensive and resource draining but it is one of the last places where you see so much cooperation that we need to nurture that. Definitely. We often see in the media that uh, China and uh, the US uh, don't talk to each other. We see that Russia and uh, another country don't talk to each other. But when you look at the International Space Station, they do talk, independently of the political tensions. Uh, that's a great example that uh, when people want to talk, they, they can do it. To me, that's kind of what space is. Uh, it's, uh, it's something bigger than all of us. It's, it's history. It's moving humankind to the, the next level of evolution. I think there's so many benefits that we derive from using space to improve our quality of life on the ground. You know, like, I don't know what I'd do without that little lady in my car now telling me, you know, where to turn. You know, I've been around a lot longer than you guys, but, you know, I've seen huge changes in how, how we do things. You know, and it's really cool. And I think space is a place that can provide benefits to everyone. I mean, that, that's kind of what it means to me, not on top of just being a cool place to explore. Fail early and often. You know, it's, uh, and, and, you know, it's hard, but don't be afraid of failure. I mean, don't do things stupid. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you don't, you know, take a risk, you're never going to get the big rewards, whatever they are, if they're, you know, and, and including knowledge and including the ability to look over that hill. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.